Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this Christmas mailbox centerpiece with Dollar Tree items. So let me tell you what the list of supplies is going to be and let's get to crafting. Most of my supplies I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Some are left over from other projects and they were purchased at different stores, but a lot of them can be substituted with items from the Dollar Tree. Let me show you what I purchased from the Dollar Tree first. The first item is this little cardboard mailbox. The front opens up like this. They do also have it in a tin. I'm going to be using this glass candle holder. I chose this bush of small poinsettias and this bush of frosted greenery. Of course, you can choose whatever you like. They do have garland and ribbon available at the Dollar Tree, but I'm choosing to use some leftovers that I have from a previous project. To paint my mailbox and candle holder, I can use some spray paint or some acrylic craft paint. I'm going to use a combination of both. I also have some spray snow that I can use to finalize and decorate my project. I will also be using a scrap piece of styrofoam and some greenery pins. It occurred to me that I want to decorate the sides of my mailbox and I would prefer to use a sticker. I don't have that so I'll be using this Christmas card and I've purchased two that are exactly the same so that I can cut out the design and use it on each side of my mailbox which I will be using some Mod Podge to adhere it and then seal it. You can use some regular white glue. And as always my usual tools which are my wire cutters, scissors, I'll be using a glue gun with some glue sticks. You can use any glue of your choice and if there is any other tools or supplies that I may miss, I'll let you know during the video. My first steps are to paint my items. I have chosen to use the cardboard one instead of the tin metal simply because it is a little bit bigger and because I am using cardboard, I'm going to use the acrylic paints to paint that. I have chosen to do it in white. Red would be a nice little color to use for it. I'm going to be using red for the little handle here and a little bit of the black as well. Now if I was going to be painting the tin or the metal box, I would use the spray paint and again whatever color you want to do it. I will be using the spray paint to color my candle holder. So I'm going to take that outside and start spraying it now and I'm going to get to painting this while that is drying. I forgot to mention that I will be using brushes to paint my mailbox. I'm going to give my mailbox an overall coating of some white paint. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and give it a second coat, even a third coat if I have to. I'm going to paint all the edges here, anything that's decorated and I'm even going to paint this part and then I'm going to come back with the red and the black to paint it on top of the white. So first of all, let's start painting this with our white paint. And now that I've gotten enough of the white on my mailbox, I'm going to touch up the little flag all in red. I'm not going to paint the opposite side. I did paint it white, but I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so now I'm just taking my black paint and I'm just taking a little bit on the tip of my brush and I'm bringing it onto the edges of my mailbox. This is completely optional. I'm going to do it going both ways so that I have that effect and I want to do it on the bottom edge as well so I'll, I'll go upward some strokes can be a little bit longer than the others and then I can go downward now this is the bottom of my mailbox so I don't need that on there but I will do it on this edge and again I'm going to go all the way around here and then I'll go around the the opening and also on the edges of my little door. I also want to do that to my candle holder. Again, taking some of the black paint and then just brushing it on to the edges. Probably want to put less paint on my brush so I don't get it so dark like that, but you know, just spread it out, bring it up onto the uh, candle holder. And again, this is completely optional. You can do as little or as much as you want. And just let it dry before you go to the next step. 
And while my mailbox is drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut out from my card here this front piece that has the picture that I want. I'm just going to roughly cut around it like that. And as you can see here, I have one that's already been cut and I've just cut around the design. So you can do that. Or if you have a sticker, that's even better. Go ahead and get that ready. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this around. And that way I can have two of them. They're not going to be exactly the same, so I'm not going to worry about it. They're on different sides of my box. And I think the fact that they're not going to be exactly the same, it gives the added look of homemade. So that's what I really, really want. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this out. And then we're going to go ahead and glue them to each side of our little mailbox. All right, so now I want to put my cutout card design here onto the side of my mailbox. And I'm just going to use some Mod Podge to do that. I'm also doing a little bit of uh, curving it because my mailbox does curve up here and just to make it easier to stick it on there. So I'm just going to put plenty of Mod Podge on the back side. All right. Getting it on here. Okay, so now I want to use some of my Mod Podge and brush over the card here. And because this Mod Podge that I'm using has a bit of a gloss finish, I'm going to go ahead and brush the top part and this part once I get this other piece on here. And now I'm going to glue some items together. I'm going to take my scrap piece of styrofoam and add some hot glue to that. And this will go right inside of my little mailbox. Now I want to glue the candlestick to the bottom of my mailbox. Again, use the glue that you prefer. I'm just using my hot glue gun for the purpose of the video, but I do recommend some E6000. Now, I do notice that the cover here of my mailbox is kind of floppy. It doesn't stay like this as I would like it to, and that is probably because of the paint that I added. It softened off the paper here, so I want to get it to stay like that. I tried pushing this through here. The carpet's a little too thick, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this greenery pin and slide it right up against the top edge here, and just about that much. I don't want to push it all the way in. Put plenty of glue and then glue right here so that cardboard right here on this edge sticks to that greenery pin and we're going to hold it until the glue dries so that it doesn't move on us. Alright, so now I'm going to make the arrangement that's going to be coming out of our little mailbox. I have a piece of garland here. This is about maybe 8 inches long. It's kind of long uh, for my arrangement if I was to put it in there. It sticks out quite far, but that's going to be up to you. You can choose to bend it and have it trickle out on one side if you like that look just like that I'm going to trim it a little bit shorter and I feel like this piece is going to fall off so I'm going to go and take it off and then I can reinsert it okay so now I'm going to take this end and place it right up on my styrofoam and I'm going to take these greenery pins and right around one of the branches or the one long piece of wire I'm going to use that to place the greenery pin around it. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to take the other piece and this time if I want I could just add some glue to this part here and also push it into the styrofoam so that keeps it in place and then you can move your little branches as needed. I'm going to take this little piece Fold it in half, add some glue, and then just glue it down here into this section. So that's what I have so far. Now I've taken my wire cutters and I've cut some of the flower stems off of the poinsettia bush. I cut off a little pine cone, and then I did the same thing to the branches of this glittered pieces of greenery. All right, so I'm going to start by placing my first flower in my arrangement. I'm going to take one of them and fold it up just a tiny bit so that it's facing upward, just like that. 
and because it's nice and long I know that it'll reach in there into the styrofoam so I'm going to direct it right at the bottom part of the styrofoam and just push it in as far as I want my flower to go I'm going to bend down the uh, stem I bended it down a little bit like that so it would stay down here rather than floating upward so that's what I've done I'm going to take another flower put this one up a little bit higher I'm going to trim the stem just a little bit and I want to make sure that it goes into the styrofoam so there's one and I'm going to put another flower over here if you feel like two flowers just one flower is enough you can stop right there little pine cone and I'm going to insert it in there as well now to add some glitter to my arrangement I am going to take some of this greenery bits and insert them in there also I'm going to put some glue onto them because I'm not sure that these are going to be long enough to get into the styrofoam so I want them to get stuck onto something so the glue will help with that I'm putting the last bit into my arrangement. I still had some leftover and I did have some flowers left over. I'll use that for another project. But this is what I have so far. Okay, so here I have a bit of ribbon. I cut about 24 inches here. And then I have this little branch pine that came off the piece of garland. I'm gonna use that to just kind of wrap around the bottom part here. And then I'll add a little bit of glue so that it won't slide off. So that is what I'm doing, just that. Now I'm going to take my ribbon and just make a simple bow. You can use wire if you prefer or just tie it like you would a regular bow. There we go. Now you could choose to tie it around the base instead and then tie up the bow. I did it this way because my ribbon is kind of thick and a little bit hard to maneuver. So I thought if I made the bow like this, it would be easier for me. So now I'm just going to glue it on to one side of my arrangement or if I want, I can make two and put it on each side. All right, so the final touch would be to spray some snow on my arrangement. And of course, that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. And now I'm going to let that completely dry. All right, everyone. So I have completed my Christmas mailbox centerpiece. So there you go. I think you could probably substitute anything for it. I am going to suggest that you could even use your little coffee cans that have the lid. If you turn the coffee can on the side so the opening is in the front, use a little lid as the, you know, the close the closing lid and then just glue it all together and paint it I think it would be awesome to use that and of course you can do this in any height any any size candle holder that you might have or just anything else maybe a little small vase that you could use to prop it on top of anyway I think it came out great so I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I think this would make a fantastic gift for anyone and that will make them super happy so I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up and that you leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think of my idea will you be recreating it are you inspired let me know what you would do different or if you have any little tips for anyone else please put them in the comments below don't forget to follow me on Facebook on Trisha's Creations where you can also share your ideas and even your photos of your creations Please share on your social medias, hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. You'll be notified of when I set up my videos, which is twice a week. Thank you for watching and enjoy.